Hello everyone. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about Radin's theorem. Let's look at the statement of Radin's theorem. It states that you have been given with d plus two points in a set which belongs to R D, which can be partitioned into two sets whose convex hulls intersect. So basically, we have we have been given with d plus two points, and such that these points can be partitioned into two sets. And then when we calculate or when we draw the convex hull of these two sets, we'll get a point which belongs to both of them. Okay. So this is what we have to prove that uh, somehow we have to prove that there exists, let's say, some x uh, x intersection. This is just a notation which belongs to convex hull of uh, let's say this this is the partition set and the convex hull of J. Okay, this is what we have to kind of prove. Okay, this was just a general idea of what I want to say. Let's look at the proof. Okay, before starting the proof, let's consider this x as this set of points. Okay, let's consider this as set of how many points do we have, Max? We have d plus 2 points. So let's just write d plus 2. Okay, now let's consider scalar multipliers for each of the point. So since points are d plus 2, let's take a scalar multiplier which is lambda i which goes from i equals to 1 to d plus 2. Okay, such that such that the summation of from i equals to 1 to d plus 2 of lambda i x i is equal to 0. Okay. Also, the summation of all these scalar multipliers is equal to 0. To summarize, what I basically meant is, let's say i is a subset of x such that all the values of lambda i which are positive are included in that subset. Similarly, j is the subset of x such that all the values of the scalar multipliers who are negative are included in this subset. Okay, so we know that the convex hull of this i and j must intersect because they both contain a point p which can be expressed in the following form. It can be expressed as the, as the convex combination of I and as the convex combination of the set J. Exactly. So P is contained, is P belongs to the convex combination of both the sets I as well as the set j which is basically what we wanted to prove so since we can express a point p such that it is in both the sets i as well as j therefore we proved our theorem and therefore yes we have a point so yeah so we have a point which is belonging to both the sets convex hull of both the sets so to quickly summarize in last one minute what i would like to add uh, before you watch the video again is please note and make sure that you know what convex set convex hull is because it's very important in order to understand this proof uh, second thing yeah to so to quickly summarize you, ha you have been given with d plus two points which belong to rd and such that they can be partitioned into two sets and the convex hull of this set has okay let's just okay so convex hull of this two sets is not empty so basically there exists a point 
which belongs to the conic sum of both the sets. Yeah. So yes, that was the proof. Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye-bye.